That's the big breakthrough. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Mishoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 17, called My Older Brother's Feelings. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. So, I'm guessing that this has got to do with Norn, right? My older brother's feelings. Because we're still, like, unveiling this part. She won't leave her room. To me, nothing could be more serious. Oh, right. Because, dude, sometimes I forget that he lived a completely different life. You know, like, I'm so used to him being Rudus. And he hasn't, like, really seen the man god this whole time. She's still my sister. But I was... I'm still thinking that uh, Princess Ariel is going to take her under her wing. The big brother has to protect his little brothers and sisters. Dude, look at that eyes, bro. そして <laughs> So he's basically saying like she got bullied by one of these people. <laughs> Dude, what are all these different types of like I don't know what you call them, but that one person had like a deer head. But that's also the other thing, it's like you haven't found out the reason and now you're going off to people. But it's only because he feel like he's actually trying to stand up for himself from the past, you know. I was talking to Norn the other day. She got really angry. Oh wow, so it's not what he expects. What? What kind of punishment would that be? Wow, follow a brother's example and study harder. So now basically everybody's gonna kind of put it together that the situation is more about Rudis and her than anybody in this class. It was my fault. Oh, and now they're comparing her to him. Wow, look at that. And that's what we find out the last time that he can create things from the mana in the air. But that was just, that was very interesting how he did that. We've never seen that type of control from him before, like so casually. <laughs> End up as stupid as linear. But I do obviously suspect that um, things will flip over and she'll actually look to him as an older brother and be like his number one fan, literally. But she's obviously still at the dorms. Wow. Dude's feeling faint. Oh, okay. I thought they were doing it so that no one could overhear and like wanna go check, but it was like Rudy's plan. Oh, so is she doing it for Rudis? Princess Ariel. Oh, she is.
is magic, yeah. Damn, like, it's exactly what I said earlier. Like, we've never seen him really use his magic so casually. It's always, like, in battles and stuff. I wonder what the reason is for them dropping two of them in one episode. Of course, like, Rudy, I mean, even though he's trying to do something right, like, He's, it's still him sneaking in to the girl's door. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no matter how you paint it, like, yes, you're like, oh, you know, go help your sister. But it's just the context that changes because when he started here, he would have been trying to do the same thing. Stay out. What on earth is that? Did she, like, transform herself? Oh, my... <gasps> oh! So, you see, this is what I said. It's like, he's more re being reminded of himself than about his sister. You know? And this is the battle here. Wow, when I became a shot and my older brother came to my room. Wow, hit me with all kinds of common sense arguments that time. I spit on it all. But that's the thing, like, once you're in that state, like, you can't. Nothing even makes sense, you know? Someone like him couldn't know how I felt. And now he's that older brother. He stopped trying to talk to me after that. And that's probably the worst thing when people just like, we can't help. Because actually, that's the first time that we've heard about his older brother, if you think about it. I might be mistaken, but I think that's... I don't think we've ever heard about his older brother trying to help him. Oh, this is her perspective now. So is it all based just off of this? Because he hit poor. Is that like the whole reason? I mean, that can be enough for like little kids. Oh, he was getting drunk with a woman. Oh, okay, I see now. The things that we didn't see, she was there. I just need to be careful I don't upset him. No one here cares about me. That's the thing, like, and I said that the last episode. Zenith is, like, still missing. And everybody's just chilling. I know Paul went out to try find her, but still... わかった。じゃあ、ノルンは寮で暮らすといい。この人は私に興味がないのかもしれない。そう考えると、なぜか少し悲しく。あ、フィルサ、フィルドルサッド。わあ。ノルン、クレイラットです。よろしく。オッケ
Oh my oh, this is a little bit of a throwback to Jed. Your brother isn't the kind of person you think he is. I don't know. Obviously, she's just young, but like, I guess like she's just basing it off of her feelings. But like, so many people have good things to say. Oh wow! Same idea. I don't really know you. I guess this will be that pivotal moment where, you know, she's able to find some type of common ground. Oh, wow. She sees a dad in him. I'm here for you. I won't go away. Wow. Heavy. I know my brother won't hit me. That's the big breakthrough. And then you'll see all that hatred and stuff will flip to love. Amazing. <laughs> but like, you know, because he's not giving up. That's like the biggest thing, the most important thing. Oh, wow. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Big. That's huge. That's actually, like, good to see, you know. And the way they had it with the sun coming out in the morning, like, it's a nice little switch there. It almost, like, brightened me up because it's, like, you hate to see it. She pulled off something I never managed in my past life. Exactly. So now he's even gonna hold it in higher regard now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, 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 I'm sorry for back then, and thank you. Wow. Incredible. So yeah, that was it. Episode 17. Um, that hit me, like, right in the feels. I don't know, it just, like, got me. Um, you know, and, like, even the way they pictured it, you know. He had this whole idea of, like, I'm doing the right thing. Her whole idea was, he's the guy who hit my dad. He's the guy I saw walking with a drunk woman. And last time he was with someone else, her being shot away, he immediately runs after all these other people, looking all these, looking to all these other people to blame. And then the case is actually, you know, that it's because of him. And then he gets reminded of himself when he shot his older brother out. And so he goes to stop that. And then... You know, then we actually get to see through her eyes. Like, everybody's just talking about Rudus. He's the man. Yeah. He's the guy. You know, that obviously affected her. But that moment of where they, it switched over, like, I felt that. Crazy. Um, very simple, subtle things in this episode. We saw him use his abilities twice very casually. I wonder what that was about. Maybe just to, you know, a little bit of excitement in the episode. Although I won't lie, that's a really good episode. Like, because like, I really felt that episode. That was good. Um, but yeah, let's see what else happens in Mushoku Tensei. That's going to be it for me. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.